Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. What is going on, entertain? So, Tim comes out with another video. We talk in Zeus Town Hall, aka Baddies in the Caribbean. Okay, uh, you guys also saw my community post that I posted about the replacements. So, yes, the replacements you guys are like gonna be in and out from what I hear. It's like the whole twist. There's a twist, okay. Basically, Levy Pepper's trying to turn baddies into a big brother now. They're not gonna be doing vote offs where oh, you're going home, but. None of the baddies' places are secure. This is why we see the baddies' chains. Hence why we see the replacements there. And some of them have filmed, others have not. But they've been all there since the beginning and the commencement of time. Okay, since literally Miami. So it's funny how Zeus is trying to play with the uh, viewers' minds that don't know the behind-the-scenes tea. Uh, that the baddies and the replacements aren't there. Meanwhile, they've been there the whole time. The only person that has left and is trying to come back is Heaven Marina. If you, you guys haven't seen my spoiler video, she did film a show with the NYX Network where uh, she's competing for a girl's love. But Big Kiva was in Barbados, Joe Barbados, Nunu was in Barbados, when Deli was in Puerto Rico, Barbados, okay? Jelly Bean, I'm not so sure of, but those four for sure were there. So, and of course, Marina was in um, Barbados as well, okay? So, it's going to be interesting how this plays out. A lot of the girls this season, from what I'm hearing uh, from our sources, they're on high edge and on high alert because they feel as if their spot is kind of like, in, they've been feeling their spot has been je in jeopardy the whole season because any of these replacements, uh, although some of them, of course, have filmed and have gotten into fights and squabbles, they haven't filmed like full term, if you guys don't get it. It's going to be interesting how they edit this season. Uh, once it starts getting aired out, I'll tell you guys a little bit more in detail. But it's going to be interesting how it's all put out because some of them haven't uh, filmed in like a full capacity aspect. And some have filmed in like a shorter uh, capacity, depending on the drama that they've gotten into. Now, when it comes to the baddies chain. Just know, a baddie got her chain snatch. Yes, we talking chain snatch in part two, okay? I'm going to let y'all figure out the baddie. I ain't going to spoil it, too. Because <laughs> it's going to ruin the enjoyment. But just know, a baddie chain did get snatched. Another person who got a chain, uh, Sapphire has a chain, Tinka got a chain, all the OG girls got a chain. But one of the girls got a chain snatched, Okay? Fuck a 10k and a chain. We get in chain snatch again on this season of Addies. All right, first I wanted to get into you guys is uh, Meatball. Meatball posted on her story. She said these girls are not really on anything. It's a shame trying to get in the house by doing little girl stuff and you still on standby. This is what I mean with the replacements. They're on standby. Okay. So when it uh, in regards to this whole replacement thing, apparently she was um shading Big Kiva. Okay. Big Kiva, you guys, is a replacement that did get a little bit camera dry, okay? From, it was apparently, I'm telling you, on the Barbados, she had to be moved from her villa because she did get active with a certain baddie, okay? So, that's who she's throwing shots at. Um, I'm really excited to see how Meatball is going to be portrayed on this show, um, especially with her having this big personality online. I hope that comes across on the show and she gives us a little laugh, because we're missing a funny baddie. Like, T gave us a little bit of that in the beginning, and then, like, the girl just said, nah, I ain't fighting these bitches. And we didn't get any more of the comedic baddies um, after that. So hopefully she delivers when it comes to that. Like, I want to see her roast a baddie this season. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see her, like, roast them real, 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 real good to the point that they want to squabble. Okay? Also, this baddie, her name is Dia. Now, from what I've heard, you're either going to like her or hate her. She has a thick, thick Jamaican accent. Well, island accent. I, um, I'm not going to say Jamaican. Um, but she has a thick, thick accent. And uh, it seems like she believes that, you know, she's a lot more of a fit than some of the other baddies that have been brought on because she's an island gal. Okay? Well, 
I treat you know, oh, I can request about this thing. All right, this thing go. Some of the business I like, some of them I don't fucking like. Some of them I don't care to get to know. Okay. And then she said, I can't be fake. That's why they don't like me. All right. So that's why you see a lot of the baddies, um, a replacement baddies in their bed because they're on standby. Okay. <laughs> because let's say if Asian goes out for a booking, we have a replacement fill in. It's giving those type of vibes. Okay. Also, this is Tinka being very happy with her getting her chain. Mom, I came from nothing. They still won't hit you. I got two hundred for you now. I love Tinka. The reason why is because she's humble. She's not trying to act like, like she's more than what she already is after getting on this show. Like I respect a humble baddie. So I'm rooting for her. And y'all know I love me some DTV. If you guys don't know, they recently made up after their squabble in um, Barbados. So they are cool now. But, of course, y'all know how these girls get. When the show starts airing, they start to change. They're going to probably start roasting each other online. You're probably going to see a whole bunch of lives, them going back and forth, when the show drops. I mean, it's like, it's a given at this point. All right? Also, somebody who got in a squabble recently is Scotty. If you guys see on her on her on her right titty, she has a scratch on her titty. All I'm gonna say is, I heard she got beat up out the frame. <laughs> Real bad. That's what I heard. Okay, beat up out the frame. Scotty did squabble this season. Okay, usually it's always with Nat Nat. This time, this wasn't the case. Stay tuned. Okay, Nally also says that this is uh, one of her best seasons ever. She says that every season, but of course. She said, this is my favorite season. Don't get me wrong, it's absolutely insane. But for some reason, being in the Caribbean is so fun and all the girls this season are lit. It's a real vibe for sure. You guys get to have the big treat. And it's not a vibe like Rashawn. Coming. Best season by far. I said what I said. <laughs> Heart hand emojis, okay? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see the footage to really see. Like I said, from the stuff that I've been uh, that I'm being told, it does seem hyphy. It does seem a lot more entertaining than the past couple of seasons. And it's because they got a fucking uh, a, a football team of bitches. Okay. It better be entertaining with all these girls. Y'all funding all these girls. God damn it. Okay, we better get a show, a good one at that. Also, if y'all don't know, Rolly and Animac seem to be in good terms, as she was seen shaking her Big Debbie cakes on Rolly. Bend that ass over. Let that Gucci breathe. Hands on your knees, okay? I'm happy about this, because I don't want to see old beef drawn out. It's really tiring. It's repetitive. Last thing we need is Rolly fighting Animac and Animac running like a damn uh, chicken, like a cockatoo. We just don't need it. Uh, I'm so sick of the, like the old beef being drawn out and the repetitive stuff. Like I don't want to see Natalie fighting on Scotty. Like we done seen that three, two, three, two, three times before. We don't need to see it over and over and over again. That's why I was happy when I heard who uh, Scotty squabbled. I'm like, thank God. Like damn, finally somebody else. <laughs> Nat Nat saw is the one popping her. Okay, so. Um, y'all should be looking forward um to that. Of course, they're probably not going to be the best of friends, but I think they're just going to be cordial just for the sake of the show. Okay. Also, y'all. Uh, speaking of somebody who's not on this season, don't expect. I know Smiley's done interviews saying she's on. Smiley's on this season, y'all. She doesn't even make an appearance. Anyways, uh, she does. She did get the Zeus uh, tattoo tatted on her. I don't know about this, Smiley. Who knows if you're ever going to appear on Zeus again? Why would you get that tatted? Like, maybe a henna tattoo like Natalie's signature, but that, I don't know. And on your hand, too. You could at least made it uh, above your butt. You know what I'm saying? Like, somewhere hidden. That's crazy.
one last thing I wanted to get into, you guys. It looks like um, some of the baddies. Hold on, y'all. Uh, All right, some of the baddies, you guys, are not living up to the hype of a house of B. Animac uh, put out a story and basically said this season really not the same without the whole house B. It's crazy. Now, I, from the stuff that I've heard, like, it's not going to be like, you know how last year was like house A, house B? It's so twisted this season that there there's not a house a house b they try it but it's not because it's too many fallouts and then fall-ins y'all get what i'm saying like you fight but then we make up it, it's a lot of that so there's not a house a house b i will say that so i'm excited to see how uh that does turn out though i will say though a lot of the girls have made peace, so hopefully they bring back Tommy. Just bring back Tommy's little drunk ass and, and cause some more havoc, okay? Bring her and the horse and Claire. We can't forget about Claire, okay? And let's make some more magic happen. Let me know what y'all think about some of these spoilers. And also, do y'all think this season will live up to the hype that Natalie is saying? Okay, leave your comments down below, and we're out, babies. Ain't no personal thing. All that